It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. All right, guys, so I watched Annabelle Creation. Not really a movie I was looking forward to. Um, <laughs> you know, horror is not really my thing, especially when it comes to dolls. I just can't. But um, I was really curious about this movie because I, myself, I'm not a big fan of the Conjuring franchise. I've seen parts of the first Conjuring movie, and I think it's fine. Then I saw Conjuring 2, and I personally did not like Conjuring 2. And Annabelle, the first Annabelle, it, it's... It's a shit. So this is a prequel to a prequel to The Conjuring. Um, well, the, this movie overall is just a prequel to Annabelle, where you basically kind of find out the origins of the doll, how there's a demon trapped inside this doll. And I'm not gonna spoil how it got haunted. Um, I guess I can't really. I, I guess that's a spoiler. So what I'll say is that there's a uh, you know a couple who lets orphans in their house to basically kind of stay there for a while. And, you know, that's where they find Annabelle and shit starts to happen. We live in a world where if you make a horror movie and if it sucks, then you just make a prequel to the horror movie and you can improve upon it and make it even better than the first movie. I mean, it worked with Ouija Origin of Evil where the first one, I didn't really hate the first movie, but a lot of people hated it. And then this new prequel came out and people loved it. So now they made a prequel to the shitty 2014 Annabelle. And what can I say? It's actually not that bad but in the end of the day it's just another horror movie where you basically have a demon trapped inside a doll or in a house or something like that and it just kind of plays out the same way as those movies do and see that's what kind of makes this movie another just generic and predictable horror film i mean you just kind of know what's going to happen and when you're to expect the next jump scare that's at least the way it worked for me i predicted about 15 different things in this movie and this is mainly because it uses the same exact formula like I was telling you, those movies, those horror films where you have a demon inside a house or something, it just, it's the same exact formula and that's what makes this movie so predictable. I'll admit, I had fun watching this movie, especially when you're in an audience full of teenagers, like, they would scream about anything. The girls in front of me, there was a point where they dropped their popcorn and they even jumped when they dropped their popcorn. It, like, it, that's what made me, you know, have fun watching this movie. See, the characters are fine, there's just too many characters jumbled into this movie where you only care for about half of them and the other half, they're just kind of just there, I guess. But you mainly care for the two main little girls who are mainly the ones experiencing, you know, this haunting doll. And yet again, like any other horror film that came in like the last five years, the characters make some of the stupidest decisions ever. Like. You know, there are those scenes where something frightening is happening, and after that thing happens, instead of running away, the characters literally just stand there waiting for the next scary thing to happen. Or, you know, that very generic horror movie moment where this person's about to open a door and they know that there's something bad back there, but they just decide to open it anyways. You know, for me, this movie wasn't really scary, but it was creepy because you do get some creepy shots of Annabelle or you know, demons doing crazy stuff, especially towards the third act where it, it goes all to shit. Like, I mean that in the best way. I don't mean that in a bad way. Like, the characters are going through so much. It's it's really fucking creepy. Um, and it gets really violent as well. If anything, what really drags this movie is, you know, the setup to the second act where you get Annabelle and you get all this creepy shit happening. You know, the first act is pretty slow, but at the same time, it's not bad. I didn't really know what to expect from this movie since it comes from the director of Lights Out, which don't get me wrong, Lights Out is an entertaining movie, but again, just like Annabelle Creation, it's quite generic, but um, you know, it's a, it's a fine movie. It's way miles light years better than the first Annabelle movie. Trust me on that. In the end, Annabelle Creation is just another generic horror movie, but when you put it alongside, you know, in a year where you got many shitty horror films like the bye bye man and shit like that it's not that bad it, it, it's fine actually um i think that this is a movie that you could just wait for Redbox or netflix i guess but uh you could also go on a matinee you'll have fun but i'm gonna give annabelle creation a c plus luckily it seems like it's kind of gonna get better for horror films of course we got it coming out which um it's probably the only horror movie I'm really, really excited for. We got Jigsaw coming up, which looks promising. 
Um, actually, that's about it because everything else just looks really fucking stupid. But yeah, we got those movies coming up, so let's hope for the best for those movies. I think that the Conjuring franchise is fine, but I think it's going to get better with other prequels that are coming out that are not Annabelle. We got um, The Nun coming out, Crooked Man coming out, which is probably my most anticipated movie out of those Conjuring, upcoming Conjuring films, and of course Conjuring 3. But I'm just really excited for Crooked Man because I think he's, he's the best part of The Conjuring 2. But anyways, what you guys think about Annabelle Creation, if you guys seen it? Um, yeah, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below. And I'll see you guys later.